Hi, we're here in beautiful downtown Edison, Washington to review and walk through Mark Winnett's new exhibit called Stories Left Behind. Let's go inside. Mark Winnett works with found objects. He's been collecting odds and ends of wood, old pianos, cabinets, wires, hardware, cardboard for over 40 years now. And this is a really gorgeous exhibit. We're excited to have here with us. Let's start with the first group here. This group, these are done in uh, kind of series or groupings. This is called Restoration, and it's from a series called Stopping Places. And this is felt, reclaimed wood. Old hardware. This is a continuation of that series, Stopping Places. Let's get a nice overview of this grouping. The body of this work was done, of the entire exhibit, was done, oh, beginning in about 2019, early 2020. So he considers it pretty much pandemic studio work. He also had just retired, so he had all of a sudden a lot of free time. And less socializing, of course, to work on these pieces. These, to me, appear very, I think of these as vertical or stacking pieces. I often see horizontal diagrams or fixings in these, kind of like this, what appears like a group of drawers. And you can see the beautiful detail of grays that Mark takes time and consideration to come up with these wonderful compositions and a very light touch. And he often will make little inserts. He'll do an incision too into the wood and these I believe are cardboard pieces inserted. carried forward, walking the in-between, blood panel, cardigan are some of the beautiful titles he uses. He's got a really nice way with um, words. And I often think of these as kind of like visual high cues. They're very uh, brief sometimes. This is a new uh, introduction of his into a more totem or figure-like form. He refers to these as studio assistants. And these are given numbers rather than name titles. This is number 33. This is number 30. These have a lot of personality. The next grouping is called Wind Song. These are interesting pieces that appear almost like instruments. Maybe something from an old piano. I'm just kind of throwing the suggestions out there, sometimes they appear like something that could be portable 
to me they also appear very primitive or they might have served an ancient mm, African or Aboriginal kind of purpose or whether it be ritual or practical. This is set off with just tiny little map pins here. And up to the top, this is called alternating currents. And that's what we started with in the window outside was another piece of this grouping. That group is Wind Song Series. Let's go to the back wall. And I'm going to slow down and get up close, but this is a very beautiful suite of cardboard pieces. Cardboard, sometimes dry pigment, sometimes graphite. They're all framed under glass, so we'll have a little reflection going on here. This series is called um, Ironwood, which is Ironwood, Wisconsin, is where it's um, his parents lived, or rather, excuse me, his grandparents. So it's kind of an homage to them, and they had a be beautiful old china tea set that he inherited when they passed. This is based on kind of all about that, all about the place. He said they, they lived very simply. They didn't have much. They lived in northern Wisconsin. It's called Resisting Forces. How much he can get out of um, so such minimal you know, resources, or rather, not resources, but minimal materials. It's a very beautiful composition here. This is called Cupped Hands. They have kind of a transparency to them. This one, you can see the dry pigment around the edges. And it's old cardboard, so it's got a beautiful aging going on to the cardboard. Drifting apart. It's hard to see that one, I'll move on. Unspoken. Shared secrets. Again, that cardboard is so gorgeous uh, in its simple aging process. Morning light, morning is spelled M-O-U-R-N. Prescribed methods, a lot of really beautiful graphite. Uh, applied on this one, beautiful application. And this at the very end is one position over as we get to the edge of the wall here. Let's go from there to the Bowles series, Bowles, B-O-W-L-S. I'm going to have to look at the title. This one has a little bit to do with um, the sense of when the rain disappears before it hits the desert or dry ground. Uh, and it is 
more golden than it appears. This is cardboard. Perhaps some pigment. I believe this one is singing bowl. And here we have ocean bowl. Here we have woven plume. Collection bowls is up above. These are really like gorgeous little paintings. Only they're assemblage. But they look almost like paintings sometimes. This one's called Underglaze Graphite Reclaimed Wood. Mark's father was a potter, or ceramicist rather. We're going to continue on to this mix series. Actually, let's. This wall has four pieces that are from the White Light series, but there is also in here one piece from the Bowls series, and this is called Drumbeat. The White Light series was done kind of in the early part, 2020 mostly. These are graphite, dry pigment, cardboard for the most part. Lesson plan. Degrees of concern. Again, that red is felt, probably from the old piano he had, was given a long time ago. And then we have Crossing the Snow Line, which does look like tracks in the snow. These are beautifully subtle pieces, and I hope you can get in to see them in person. And I apologize for the oh, shaky hands here. A few more of his totems, 13, number 13, studio assistant. It sits there wonderfully. This is 91. And next to 91, we have 20. Mm. This looks like a busy guy with almost scissors like a uh, drop at his hands. And this piece is called 72. That's copper, brass, and reclaimed wood. So we are up through the end of the month and hope you get a chance to come in and see this in person. It's quite a beautiful exhibit. Thank you very much.